Happy Tuesday, everybody, y'all. Today's Tuesday morning, July the 5th, and this is your two-minute thought with your boy, John Redman. Y'all, today's topic is just enough. Y'all, last week I was going through, y'all didn't see it on my face, but you know, remember that commercial, never let him see you sweat, but I was going through because rent was due last week on the 1st of July, and I was about $500 short, and I'm like, oh, what? So you know what I had to do. The Bible says he giveth you power to gain wealth. I hopped in my Uber and my Lyft, same car, and I drove and I drove. I was driving for dollars <laughs> and tips. I was driving and I think I drove that Thursday for like 15 and a half hours. I was just like, uh-uh, I am not going to be homeless. Too cute to be homeless. I was I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. So I think drove 15 hours and I think I made like $415. I was like, oh, I'm almost there. So got a little nap, <laughs> woke up on Friday the 1st because rent is due on the, you were listening, first. So I drove and I drove and I think I drove till noon from the morning to noon and I made the difference up and I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I went on and transferred that additional $400 and $500 to to my to my account and I didn't wind up transferring the whole amount to my to my landlord and I made this huge sigh of relief but then I was like wait a minute God wait a minute so for for a lot of people you are not enough they go and seek after other things to fill the void in their lives, other people, other things, other jobs, other positions, you know, there's a hole in their heart and there's a hole in their life and they choose to fill it with other things. And so because you're not enough, they want more. But then, as I proved last week, I, I, I had the money come in and, and I was grateful, but then I was low key mad because I was like, wait a minute, it was just enough. But I don't want you to be my just enough. I, I hear Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir and all these saints of old and, 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 my, and present talking about you're more than enough. I wanted you to be my more than enough, but it looked like you were just enough. And remember, the rent was due on the first. So after my little round on the first and I transferred the money, I was like, whoo, sigh of relief. It took every penny. But I was able to pay rent. I went to my P.O. box that same day on the 1st after I finished my route. And I opened up my mailbox and why were there two checks up in there? One was from my aunt and my cousin. <laughs> Just thinking about you, wanted to send you this $50. Thank you, Jesus. And then there was a second check in there from my performance rights organization for the music I've sold or the music I actually recorded and it, it, it brought royalties and it was probably, it was probably for like 160 bucks. It was sitting in there. He's an on-time guy. It was already sitting in that P.O. box, meaning he was there the day before. <laughs> He's an on-time God. And so those two checks equaled about 220 bucks right around right there. And I was like, oh, I can get groceries now. I can pay another bill. And I was grateful. I was like, Lord, thank you. And I drove home and then I went to sleep because, you know, I, I, again, I drove for 15 and a half hours the night before. So a bro was tired. Woke up Sabbath morning. I was grateful. I was about to get ready. I was getting ready for this, um, church and ready to teach you Sabbath school. And, and oh, I, didn't, I hadn't checked my mailbox, you know, across the street, you know, from my house. And so I was like, oh, let me go check that before I go to church. Now, remember, this is the second. It's July 2nd on Sabbath, right? Went in my bell box, opened it up. There's my state federal, my state tax return, uh, my tax refund for over $1,000. Now, wait a minute. Like, remember, this is July the 2nd, early in the morning before the mail run, meaning that check was sitting in there on July the 1st. Not only was he right on time, but I already had more than enough. <laughs> what is my point in telling you all this? God 
is our provider. In Genesis chapter 22, 14, remember the story of Abraham and he was told to sacrifice his son and he was like, this is the promise. Like you said that many nations are going to come out of my child and, but I'm going to be obedient. And he went on and took his son to the altar to sacrifice him. And God said, stop, don't do it. I'm going to go on and be your provision. I'm going, you see that ram in the thicket? I want you to go on and, and sacrifice that, 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 that ram instead. And, and, and he did. And, jo uh, and Abraham called that place, uh, Yahweh Yirah, or Jehovah Jireh, meaning the Lord will provide. We need to understand that God is our provision and, and he doesn't want to be not enough for you. He doesn't want to be your just enough. Let him be your more than enough.